Berry semi-final at New Grosvenor. A misdirected back pass was headed down by Paul Hardy and Davy Smith beat the Portadown goalkeeper Mickey Keenan. Five minutes later it was one all. It was Davy Mills who made a tremendous surging run down the centre of the field holding off several challengers and while his cross was somewhat misdirected Davy Hanna was there to finish it off. Hannah got his second with 18 minutes gone. The Portadown defence seemed quite bemused and Hannah had all the room he needed in the penalty area. <laughs> Lorne levelled it at 2-all when referee Alan Snoddy decided that Brian Strain had controlled the ball with his hand and Paul Hardy scored from the penalty spot. Another infringement, this time by Larne, gave Portadown the chance to restore their lead in the second half. The Larne players protested most vigorously, but Alan Snoddy was not to be dissuaded, and a penalty it was. Roy McCready put Portadown 3-2 up. It then went to 3 all thanks to a deflection from a Portadown defender with eight minutes remaining, though Larne's Davy Smith, scorer of the game's first goal, claimed the credit. Into extra time then, and Francis Smith was wide with a straightforward chance for Larne. And the same player was to be just inches out in the second period. But 11 minutes from time, Davy Hanna pushed the ball home for a Portadown winner and a place in Saturday's final, giving Portadown the opportunity for a first Irish League trophy since their Gold Cup win in 1979. Dear, dear, dear. He didn't expect that. Come about.